Hi Cancers, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. Happy Easter everyone and happy full moon. It is in Libra, but I am doing a general spread for you. This is going to be good for all placements for the sign of Cancers. It is a general reading so energies can be moved around and it will not resonate with everyone. My name is Elena. If you've never viewed me before, I'm going to look at the strongest energies around you right now. And welcome back to those of you who are returning. Thank you. Um, I'll be looking at something you've recently been through. If it sounds like your situation, this is your reading. I'll be looking at the crossing and then what's headed in. I'm starting right now. I've been meditating. I heard a song. Spirit guides. I'll sing it in a minute. Uh, strongest energies around the sign of cancers, please. Thank you. What do you want to show me? Thank you. For the sign of cancers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Strongest energies around the sign of cancers. This reading is for. What do I need to see? I heard a song. It was uh, the song by Blondie. The tide is high. You know, um, excuse me, I got lint on me. Underneath the deck, I have suffering in silence and I have patience. And I listened to the song because I just started singing it this morning when I got up and I started thinking, what are cancers planning? What are you guys up to? What are you up to? Oh my God, patience and planning. I felt it. I felt it. All right. So if you've never heard that song before, um, right now we do have a full moon in Libra, but full moon brings out your emotional side cancer as you come out of your shell. And you probably feel a lot more than you normally do. I have fertility around, around you right now. Um, I do feel that this is being very grounded energy of um, nurturing yourself, giving birth to something, planting seeds so you can harvest them later. Fertility. I do have um, accelerated motion around you right now. Yeah, probably with your emotions about something. I really do feel that. And I did feel this card, patience and planning. You guys are patient right now. Very patient. You're always very patient, but you're planning something. You know, and underneath the deck, I had suffering and silence and patience once again. I have it like two folds over. Patience and planning. You might be feeling a lot right now, but you're planning something. I have spiritual union. Hmm. Somebody you have a uh, deep connection with, you know, or you're climbing to something with a deep spiritual union, but I don't know, I'm feeling something here. I'm feeling something here. It's something that you have a connection with or someone. I have financial and material changes. Hmm. Around you right now, I feel as if uh, you're, pl you, you are planning something Cancerians. I can feel it because the last card they gave me is the waiting game. Like right now you have this abundance of patience around you. You may be suffering in silence, but you're being very patient. I have it twice patient and patience and planning. I have accelerated motion with the fertility card, but I just feel like you're staying very grounded. I don't know. It's like you're planting something. Hmm. Spiritual union is right in the center and I have financial and material changes. You're, you're going to, you're creating something to happen. And then I have, you're just being patient, the waiting game. Loving it. Loving it. I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. My beautiful Cancerians. If it sounds like your situation, then this is your reading for the sign of cancers, please. Recent past. Thank you. Recent past. For the sign of cancers, this reading is for. Hmm. It sounded like they were purring. What do you want to show me for the recent past for the sign of cancers? Thank you. Thank you, spirit guides. Tell me a little bit about Cancerian's recent past that this reading is for, please. Recent past for the sign of cancers. What do I need to see? Hmm. Patience is right in front of me. What do I need to see for the sign of cancer's recent past, please? Thank you. Coincidence? Temperance? I say not. Underneath the deck is I have the Queen of Pentacles. Did anybody fall on the ground? 
Sometimes they go flying. Pardon me. Nope. Okay. Underneath the deck, I do have the beautiful Queen of Earth. The Queen of Patience. The Queen of just staying in this solitary area of earthy energy, of knowing how valuable you are and being very patient. Hmm. Wait, let me just keep going here. I have the Eight of Pentacles putting a lot of work into something, but being on the fence about something, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A lot of earth energy is showing up here. That's very grounded, patient energy. It's, it's very stable energy because I have the Three of Pentacles, more earth energy. I feel like you're going back and forth about if you want to put more work into something that is a... Um, is a union of some type. You feel it's a spiritual union around, around you right now, but the Three of Pentacles is a card of union. Um, working with someone else to get to the triangle of stability. You're patient. That's all I'm gonna do right now. To my left, that's where I always start. I have the big king of wands. And I have it with the love union, a two of cups. That's big Leo energy. I mean, I'm just kind of seeing a, a pattern here. So this is where I start to put it all together and feel it. I feel that you feel deeply connected to someone and you are determined to win. The King of Wands is Leo energy, but that is the King of Determination. Patience. If you guys are planning something, I know you are. I have the Page of Cups. I have the Seven of Pentacles. And then I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Page Cups is young, eager water energy about waiting, I feel, to put work into something because you want to see the fruits from your labor. Because I do have the Nine of Cups in reverse recently, and this is something that you felt your wish has not been granted. Something didn't play out. You know, the Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. Something did not play out for you in that realm recently in the past but who was in front of me i have temperance temperance sagittarius patience and planning patience and balance big major arcana from something that your wish didn't turn out quite as you expected i have the four of pentacles i have the page of pentacles and now you're at a big crossroads which is rolling into these energies you know the crossroads the two of swords is a card of hmm what is going to serve me for my highest good? Because I really want to get something solid started, but at the same time, I'm holding very tightly onto something. I have the four of pentacles. You have a lot of earth energy in your recent past. That's telling me that you were very grounded. You weren't leaping. You weren't flying. You weren't running on emotion. You were very st steadfast to the earth about eager to get something solid started, but at the same time holding on too tight to something. Hmm, it's probably your patience. I do feel you're waiting for something to play out in your favor here. Um, the Two of Swords is, you know, I'm at a crossroads. It's like, well, I don't know. Should I be more patient? I'm trying to plan something. Or should I just let this one go? Hmm, okay. I see patience all over this reading. But let's look at the crossing energies. And you guys, I did have, it's just a waiting game. You know it's a waiting game because you have financial and material changes with the spiritual union. You're waiting for accelerated motion. <laughs> Crossing energies. All right. If you are not dealing with anyone, my beautiful cancers, there is a time stamp in the description box to move into the incoming. King of Wands. Spirit Guides. All right, let's take a look a little bit about the crossing energies my beautiful Cancerians have been dealing with. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Just a little bit. What do you want to show me about the crossing energies for the sign of Cancers? Show me about the people or person they've been dealing with a little bit. Thank you. What do you want to... Thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to show me for the sign of Cancers? Mm -hmm. Crossing energies. What else do I need to see, please? Anything else? Anything else? I had to stop looking because I see a lot of the cards. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Underneath the deck, I have the word game, the Five of Swords. Um, the Five of Swords is a card about someone feels they won something here. They claim one up on you with words, but I feel that you know it's, they may have won the battle, but they're not going to win the war. That's what I feel. I have the Almighty Manifester, and I have it with the King of Water. Mm -hmm. That's you right there, the King of Water. Uh, this person has been trying to create something with you, but you ain't showing any emotion. You weren't showing any emotion. I feel that um, you were on the fence about something, but I feel that creation wanted to happen. But with the King of Cups here, literally you're sitting above the body of emotion. Probably because they may have said something to you or they feel you said something to them. You know, it's part of the game, the waiting game, because hey, I don't even know why I said that. The waiting game. Hmm. And then underneath that, I have uh, the Nine of Wands. This is someone who is in full-on protection mode now. They, they're a little wounded. With the Ten of Cups, I have uh, the Seven of Pentacles. And then I have Leo showing up again, the King of Wands. I feel a lot of determination here on both sides about to win. When you see the King of Wands show up, either you're dealing with a Leo or that's just two two energies here of oh no because mm -mm. mm -mm. i see the five of swords there's been word games here words spoken someone's a little butt hurt about it all right over to my left as i have big leo showing up again i have strength big strength strength and courage and then i have the ace of cups in reverse feeling as if this brand new opportunity of love They're having a lot of strength through something that they feel there was no brand new opportunity of love here for some whatever reason. Hmm. I have the two of wands. This is someone who's deciding, do I want to move forward? Do I want to go back? Because I have the eight of cups and then I have the shadow side, which is the devil, big Capricorn energy. They're just staring into this place right now of... Um, Looking at the things in their life that they've walked away from with emotion, um, the Eight of Cups is all about that, and they're not sure if they want to move forward or if they want to go back because I have uh, the devil showing up. And when the devil shows up, this is someone who might get pulled in different areas with temptation. Um, maybe they feel this union, there's some toxicity to it, or they're just a toxic person. I don't know. Or Capricorn. I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys both have the Nine of Cups in reverse. You both wanted this wish to come to, to fruition. But I do feel that there's some type of word trickery going on here. I do feel it. Um, you guys have matching cards. It's like you both feel there's something here that could have been a wish. But somebody walked away. And I feel that someone feels that there has been a word game here. And they're just not giving you any op new opportunity of love right now. The next card out is because they don't see something with the new truth, the new clarity. The Ace of Swords in reverse is someone who's stuck on a way of not seeing the real truth of a situation. Because they're too stuck on, I feel, something that's been said from the past. I, that's what I just feel, or done from the past. The Ace of Swords in reverse is someone who doesn't see the clarity, the truth of a situation. That's probably why the Ace of Cups is in reverse. You know, because if they saw it the right way, I think the Ace of Cups would be this way. Because the last card out is I have the Almighty Empress. You guys have a lot of the same matching cards. King of Wands and the Empress. I mean, you have it in the strongest energies around you right now. It's like, I just both feel like you're both staying very grounded. You know, um, planting seeds to harvest them later. Because I feel the opposing energies knows you're very patient. And that um, I feel like you're being tested because I have King of Wands and King of Wands. Like it's just a giant test to see how strong you are. And you want to see how strong they are. And then I have you just holding on back. It's like, mm-mm, four pentacles. Nope, 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 nope. All right. All right. Okay. We're going to look at what's coming towards you. <laughs> Who do I want to use? Oh, I'm going to use these today. Okay, spirit guides, uh, the incoming energies for the beautiful sign of cancers. 
in the next few weeks throughout the end of April. What do you want to show me about the incoming energy? Strongest incoming energies. Thank you. For the sign of cancers. Strongest incoming energies. For the sign of cancers, please. What do you want to show me? Strongest incoming energies for the sign of cancers. Anything else you want to tell me? In strongest incoming? Nope. Done. <laughs> All right. I got to put my readers on for these. these. These are very fine print. Well, strongest energy is coming in and I have a vision. I feel that um, something is going to be cleared up for you, Cancerians, because underneath that I have chaos. And I think you had that in one of your recent past readings. Um, I feel that something that has completely whipped through your life. You know, the tornado is a very reckless energy of, of not knowing which direction it's going to go. And I feel that you're going to have the vision now of something that whipped through your life. Because here it is right here. I have the warrior. Yeah, because you're fighting. You're going to win here. I, I mean, I'm not, hey, I don't know. I don't, whether, it could be about a new job too. It could be about a new relationship or something. I got the warrior popping up with vision from chaos. And then I have uh, two more cards to my left. I have the high priestess of fire. High Priestess of Fire coming in for you, and I cannot believe this, but it's with the High Priestess of Spirit. Wow, that's a lot of intuitive energy. I think right now around the full moon, you might be feeling a lot of, a lot of emotion, but in the next few weeks, you're going to be in your element of intuition. The air is full on... I'm sorry, the fire is... The High Priestess of Fire, if you can look at the picture... I feel that your intuition is going to be telling you in which passionate areas you need to go. And I have the high priestess of spirit here. And I feel it's like everything is going to be in tune for you of letting you know which way you should go because you'll have the vision and then you'll be the warrior. You're going after the fight. I'm loving it from something that has been whipping in and out of your life. Beautiful. Oh, and in front of, in front of me, I do have understanding. Boy, that sure looks like patience to me. I feel that everything is going to be illuminated for you and you're going to have the understanding that you've been waiting for. Your answers you've been waiting for. You'll understand something now. Because the strongest energies around you right now is patience, 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 patience and planning. I feel the incoming energies is all this intuitive energy of spirit and fire and understanding. Now you know. All right. Let's look at a little bit. All right, let's use these today. All right, I'm going to look at the incoming energies. Those are the strongest energies. Uh, let's see what my spirit guides want to show me about those oracle cards. For the sign of cancers, please. Tell me about the incoming energies. Spirit of fire and the warrior. And understanding from that chaos you've recently had in the past. Incoming energies for the sign. Thank you. Of Cancer's Peace. Thank you, Spirit Guides. What do you want to tell me about the incoming energies for the sign of Cancer's? Anything else you want to show me? Incoming energies, please. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? And I need deck because I have three of wands. Huh. Oh, God. Look at the way this card flipped out. The six of cups. Okay. Uh, that six of cups is a very deep connection. It's somebody you felt you had a, an amazing connection with. You could have known them for a long time or felt like you've known them for a long time. You know, it's just that amazing connection. I do have the three of wands under the deck. Um, this is fire energy telling me that everything is coming towards you like your ship is coming in because I see what's going on here with all these oracles and then I have strength and courage big Leo energy and then I have big Libra showing up justice everything is about to be evened out for you play out in your favor the scales will be balanced 
and I have a passionate brand new opportunity, the Ace of Wands, because you have the High Priestess of Fire and the Warrior. But on my lap is I have Virgo sitting there. Virgo is the Hermit. This can be very withdrawn energy. And what I feel from this is it's telling me that in the incoming energies, I feel like you have found your answers. Like, because I had understanding too. No, literally, like, I just feel it. Like, now you have your answers. And then I have with your vision. It's, it's just ironic. It's the same card. It really is. Believable. I have the Wheel of Fortune over to my left. I have it with the Nine of Swords. And then I have the Four of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune is a big major arcana telling me everything's about to play out in your favor. But they want me to tell you to take a time out from things that you're getting caught up in your head about. The Nine of Swords is a card based on circumventing. Circumventing is what creates the Nine of Swords. It's like, what if this happens? What if, what if I reach out and they do this? Or what, well, why did they reach out? Or is it, am I going to get this job? Or they're telling me to tell you, lay down the thoughts. Rest, rejuvenate. Don't circumvent because something's aligning for you in your favor. Just saying what the cards are saying. I got two in front of me. I have the two of cups showing up again. Mm -hmm. And I have it with the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles is about putting work into something with someone else to see the fruits from your labor. It could be a person. It could be a love of a job. It could be a connection getting back together. You know, um, something is aligning. But I do feel with the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords, um, they want me to tell you not to circumvent about how something can play out. Let it play out. Because your ship is coming in and I have justice rolling in with strength. That is something's going to play out in your favor. And I feel with the Ace of Wands here, I mean, you had the High Priestess of Fire and the Warrior. And I feel like all your patience and planning that you've been doing is about to pay out. Because your ship is coming in. Yep, that's what I feel. This is what I have for you today. All right, I'm going to get a few messages, though, from my spirit guides. Uh, spirit guides. What do you want to tell my beautiful Cancerians today? One shuffle. About this reading, two cards. Mm -hmm. Two cards. It always ties it together. For the sign of Cancers. All right, two messages, please, spirit guides, for my beautiful Cancerians out there. Thank you. Uh, two messages for the sign of Cancers. What would you like to tell them today about this reading? Thank you. One more card for the sign of Cancers. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, I better get one more. Yes, thank you. I felt it. I heard one more. <laughs> okay, I got you. All right, first card to my left is I have, here it is right here. Well, the wishes that didn't turn out, I have the nine of Raphael. That is, uh, Cancerians make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. I completely see that coming in, especially with the Wheel of Fortune from whatever chaotic moments oof, you've had in the past. And then they gave me the king. The King of Gabriel. Hmm. Keep your eyes on the big picture. <laughs> Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Uh, the warrior, you're going to win. I'm telling you, I felt that all along. Your patience and planning is about to pay out. Last card they gave me is infinite. <laughs> Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through quiet meditation. It didn't say quiet. I just threw that in there. I don't even know why. Um, I just feel that if you start to get caught up in your head about something, about circumventing, um, take a time out and, you know, meditate and you'll have all the answers you need. Because I see it in the incoming energies. I have the warrior, you know, I have vision. And I just feel that something is coming into fruition for you that you have been waiting for. You've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for the clarity on something and you're about to have it. This is what I have for you today, my beautiful Cancerians. If you guys enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, 
leave a comment, subscribe if you like. Thank you. I do uh, just want to say to everyone who has liked and subscribed to my channel, I am very grateful and I appreciate all your love. I really do. And I'm wishing everyone a beautiful Easter and an amazing day. Thank you so much.